Hey everybody, welcome to part 3 of the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Let's Play. In this part we're going to go and take out the Tower of Hera and its infamous boss. We're also going to go and finish up Hyrule Castle as well. The best way to go to... I find the best way to traverse up the mountain is to come through the old man's house. As you'll see here. I have no idea where exactly those rocks are coming from, because see, seeing as this is allegedly at the top of the mountain, But before we actually go to the tower, let's make a pit stop in here. Because, yeah, here we go. Another piece of heart. I wanted to quickly just show that there's uh, fa like f fairies over there, but I suppose if I really wanted to, I could have just mentioned it. Damn little mold arms. Every they're everywhere. So now we just run back up here. Now we can start heading to the tower proper. Oh no, it's a demon bunny! Also, uh, those two kids there, uh, the ball one is, to is totally me, because I'm always changing my mind. They, uh, they talk about how they, how they transformed and why they transformed into what the way they looked. And, yeah, the ball guy says he changed into a ball because he's always changing his mind. Anyway, welcome to the Tower of Hera. Moldorm and whatever the fire dudes are called. But now that I look at them, they kind of make me think of uh, those enemies from Metroid Prime. Uh, what the hell are they called? You see them at the beginning of the game when you first get to Talon 4, when you're heading to the Chozo Ruins. And, but anyway. This is the first time we have to deal with the floor tiles and not being able to just walk past them. I find the best method is to just stay at one of the entrances and just slash at them when needed. Yeah, or just yeah, rapid, just rapidly sw swing your sword. And there you go. Bulldorms can actually hurt you pretty well. Yeah, whatever. I have no idea why I always do this. Wait, do I do it th 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 this time? Yes, I do. I don't know why I always go and grab that... Mm, that magic mm, pot when my magic is full. Oh boy, Bosky! Make sure you hit that switch again. So you can actually get back here. Now we have to deal with these guys. Metroids with 
with weird, funky m beards. I, I, I don't know. I don't remember if they, no, I don't think they do. If they do, they definitely have a different design. I don't think they appear in any other Zelda game. Ow. Damn it. He, in that case, he didn't fall down that hole. He he fell through the floor. See, those guys hurt. Lasted Moldorm. Alright, final floor. So, you go down this hole specifically from the top, so that way you don't land on those star switches there. Because, especially if you want to get this chest. Now we have the moon pearl, which is needed for the dark world. Okay. All right, all right, ready for the infamous boss, Moldorm. All right, let's do it. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know. I find with this fight, yes, he can knock you off the cliff, but I've taken note that you see, if you, as long as you're walking against him, you won't fall. And that's that. We never have to come back here, everybody. You won the Pendant of Wisdom. With this, you can now go and grab the Master Sword. Get going, asshole! How the hell did I jump down there? Like, at that point. Whatever. Yeah, see, that was a grievous error. Oh well, now we can see the other way you can come up the mountain. You go, so in this cave is the cave you used to get back down the mountain. Surprisingly enough, for a mountain, it doesn't take that long to get back down. Better be careful. There are holes there, so if you run into the wall at the bottom there, you'll go down the hole. Don't mind that cut. I was doing an assortment of random crap. I almost fell for I almost fell for my old tricks. I used to take uh, the old a different route to go to the Master Sword. You know the route we took to get to the forest in the fur in part one? Yeah, I almost went there.
This is it. This is the Master Sword. No, this can't be it. Too bad. We'll use it to, get, uh, to kill that bug. Ow. Goddamn crow. They probably hit me the most out of every enemy in this game. So yeah, if you go in front of the pedestal, you can use the book of Med Medora. It will tell it will tell you stuff. Suddenly, so ha Hasra contacts you. Dude, it is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword. That makes evil retreat. With this shining sword, I believe you can deflect the wizard's evil powers. The destiny of this land is in your hands. Please, dude! Dude, help! The soldiers are, are, are coming to sanctuary! Ay! Yes. Dude is so badass, he can hit an enemy, like, from inside of the giant log. Or the fallen, or the fallen tree, or the fallen tree, if you prefer, the hollowed out tree. Try to do a cut because now I want to grab some. I want to grab something before we go to to the castle. So if you just come up here, you need the Master Sword for this, though. And the Book of Medora. Hold up your Master Sword! We got the Ether Med M M Medallion. I tried not to fight him. Yeah, we have a new sword. It's got better reach. You see? What did I tell you? Some apples. I don't know exactly when it changes to bees, though. Like, I, maybe, uh... Maybe, um... When you first go to the... After you first go to the Dark World after this coming up boss fight? Or after you do the Dark Palace? Does anyone know? I, cause I don't. If you do, let me know down in the comments. I like these guards, because they're actually a little faster. At the same time, it makes them also mo more annoying. Oh boy, here we go! Hit when 180. And here we go. Just use one to you, 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 just, just, just yeah you you do that. Use one to beat up uh, to kill one, then just slash the hell out of the other. I 
have no idea why I wanted that fairy. I think it was just really cut, just because. Yes, I could light the torches, but usually I know the route that I need to take. Now, I find that the, this variant of guard is definitely faster. Unfortunate that they only appear early game and in this part of Hyrule Castle. That's the guard you need. The one with the bow. Well, the one with the bow to the south. These guards suck. I have to kill them to open the door. He was thinking there for a second. Oh, I guess he left. Well, how would I leave? We don't need to wor worry about that other that flying that flying eyeball, or these three guys. Alright, so that's the castle. So. Aha, dude. I have been waiting for you. <laughs> I was hoping I could make Zelda vanish in front of your eyes. Behold, the last m m moment of Princess Zelda. And for the longest time when I was a kid, I thought your uh, crown thing was your head. Was your face? Ho ho ho, with this, the seal of the seven wise men is at last broken. It is now only a matter of time before evil power c c c covers his land. After all, the legendary hero cannot defeat us, the tribe of evil, when we are armed with the power of gold. Ho ho ho, now I must go. My people need me. Oh, so you mean to say you'd like to be totally destroyed? Well, I can make your wish come true. So, dead man's... B Volleyball, or whatever they call it. Yeah, you can reflect his attacks back with the net. Ow. Jerk. Hmm. Yeah, so when you see him go to that spot, just move out of the way. He'll fire a lightning attack that will never reach you. I don't know why you moved barely an inch. And so Aghanim's probably thinking, smart as little asshole. Grrrr, well met. Like the true hero that you are, but I am not ready to admit defeat yet. I will draw you into the dark world. Dude, it is I, Sahasawa. I am communi I'm communicating to you th across the void through t telepathy. The place where you are now stand was the Golden Land, but evil power turned it into the dark world. The wizard has broken the wise man's seal and opened a gate to link the worlds at Hyrule Castle. In order to save this half of the world, the light world, 
You must win back the golden power. You must also rescue the seven maidens who, who Aghanim sent to the Dark World as members of the bloodline of the seven wise men. They have power that will surely help you. The maidens are locked in hidden d d d d d dungeons full of evil like, creatures and d d dangerous traps. The palace of d d darkness should be your first goal in this world. Dude, I can rely only on you. Please make this old man's wish c wishes come true. And with that, we have our next goal. But first... So, we got our next, we got our next heart, we got our newest heart container. Yes, I know those, it's, uh, those, those, those cow guys look like they're carrying, they, 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 no, I know they look, they have spears and all, but it also looks like they just, they're just running at you with, like, marshmallows on a stick. Or, or like something, to, or some sort of cover to cover their blade. Yo, dude, you seem to be in a heap of trouble. But this is all I ca I've got to help you. This is a, man a, ma a magic b b bottle. You can store whatever the hell you want. I don't know if it'd be a good idea to camp under a bridge, but all right. All right, so now it's time to say goodbye to our shield. That's a bigger spaghetti monster. There we go. I got lucky with him grabbing that this time. Wrong spot past me. Yeah, I was I was thinking of two two different things, that's why I walked away from the portal. First, we're just gonna come up here. He was protected by that heart. I know because I've uh, I've zoned between between spots that that guy is uh, gone. Or not, no, not that guy. That my shield is gone. I could not. The only way to get it back now is to buy a new one, which we're not going to do. Pond of happiness. Throw in a few. So I don't know why, but for your first round of this, you got to. You only can throw in twenty at a time. Five sets of twenty. And then after that, it's 25 and 50. So, yeah, and I guess you get a, an upgrade alongside with whatever it is you do after. I just wanted to show that that was a fairy fountain. Oh, boy. I decided that at least on, on screen to show you... get. That to show you that we're getting two upgrades to our bombs and arrows because this is where you go. Oh boy, great luck, everybody. So, first, we're going to increase our capacity to carry bombs. Now we can throw in 50 
at a time. Ooh, great luck. All right, Venus, give me some, some arrows. And there you go. I'll do the rest of the upgrades off screen at a later point. But for now, let's head to the first dungeon in the Dark World world. Yes, because my shield is now officially gone, we can we're allowed to take our anger out on him. everyone's favorite boss in this game. I think it, no, actually, I take it back. I think I asked that. Now, before we head to the next dungeon, maybe I want to go somewhere else. But yeah, what's everyone's favorite boss or dungeon in this game? My favorite boss goes to Turtle Rock. Favorite dungeon in this game? Eh, Palace of Darkness. on every possible heart piece we can possibly get. Hey, I jumped down. Why can't you? And he's still like, I'm gonna get you. So long, suckers. That's right. One more quick pit stop. Let's hit proper. Let's properly head to the Palace of Darkness. So the Palace of Darkness is not as straightforward as it is to get to the Eastern, to Eastern Palace. Uh, you got to go through a bunch of hedges, like hedges, I believe, that are cut open. Also, I believe there's rupees in this the, 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 the building we just passed. I just never bothered to go to it. Oops, wrong turn. Hello, spaghetti monster. And meet our newest friend. Kiki! <laughs> I'm Kiki the monkey. Kiki! I love rupees. More than anything. Give me ten. Okay. Good choice. I will accompany you for a while. You just need to bring Kiki to the dungeon. Now with that, um, I'll see you in the Palace of D -D -D Darkness in Part 4. Until then, take care.